celebrating get to work. These are the words of the former president and presumptive flag bearer of the NDC, John Dramani Mahama. Their goal is just one, to win the 2024 general elections. Maintaining their current numbers in parliament, or better still, getting majority will be the icing on the cake. No, the attention should focus on how they can close their ranks. There are a lot of things that they will have to do to make themselves popular as um, an alternative party um, worthy of consideration. The new leadership will not have to relax and look at the challenges of the regime, current regime, and think that well, those challenges are going to be there in perpetuity, and so it will be a done deal for them in the next election. No. The outcome of the party's national elections seemed to affirm calls by delegates for a new direction to enable the party win 2024. For the majority of the more than 900 delegates who gathered at the stadium, two key positions, national chairman and general secretary, were the pivots of the party. And thus, a change in leadership was critical, unifying and energizing the party at all levels. Delegates, observers and analysts expressed no surprise when Fifi Kwete beat competition convincingly to emerge as general secretary. One thing I see about him is that kind of shrewdness. Someone I call him, I can say that he's more of a strategist. He, he comes to me as someone who by the time you say Jack, he would have acquitted you and then you'd be found wanted. Hopefully, his tactfulness and strategies will help the NDC get its desired victory. Chairman Asidin Ketia hopefully can use his new position to do what he could not do as General Secretary in 2020 and 2016. We are going to go into a difficult election and we cannot let our country Ghana down. The path will not be smooth, but we will stand up to the challenge. But, like any other political contest, how quickly cracks and wounds are healed after the contest is arguably the most important step going forward. Quickly, the leaders who have won election will now have to call upon all those who contested with them and then try to bring them along and then let them know that it's a contest, definitely there will be a winner and a loser. But former President John Dramani Mahama says there is lots of room under the umbrella. For those who are elected, we must be gracious in victory. And for those who have lost, let us understand that there's a lot of room under the umbrella for everybody. Should they remain united and win 2024, how will they govern? That is the concern of minority leader Harun Idrisu. What kind of economy is John Dramani Mahama likely to inherit in 2025? What kind of governance are we to provide? The Ghanaian people expect nothing but meaningful governance that respects their security and safety and governance that shares the opportunities of our country. But at least we are certain that Excellency John Damani Mahama will not run a nepotistic government. Well, the task is simple, yet a tough one. Do they have enough time to strategize, get acquainted, and learn on the job? Time will certainly tell.